lot of things are done in the name of freedom remarked external affairs minister s j shankar in new york as he thrashed canadian prime minister justin trudeau's reluctance to act against the six separatists in canada Jay Shankar was hinting at Trudeau's remarks on freedom of speech in Canadian Parliament, which came in rather surprising way just after Bharat had asked Canada to take concrete steps against the anti-Bharat activities going in Canada. He also took a dig at the United States for their double standards and taking Canada's side in the whole matter. He said that the nations which are occupying a place of influence in the world are now resisting the pressure to change and have weaponized a lot of those capabilities. It is pertinent to mention that since the standoff between Canada and Bharat started after Trudeau's baseless allegations on potential link of Bharat in Sikh terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar's killing, United States has been issuing a slew of statements. US Secretary of State Antony Blinken, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, National Security Council Coordinator for Strategic Communication John Kirby, US Ambassador to Bharat Eric Garsati, and US Ambassador to Canada David Cohen all have publicly made remarks on the ongoing matter. However, all these statements were made diplomatically to not take any sides where they asked New Delhi to cooperate and told Ottawa to not jump the gun. Meanwhile, Canadian Defence Minister Bill Blair came to the fore asserting that Canada's relationship with Bharat is of utmost importance, adding that Ottawa will continue to pursue partnership with Bharat like the Indo-Pacific Initiative. Jay Shankar's remarks in New York clearly suggest Bharat's priorities and what it expects from its allies. New Delhi wants Justin Trudeau's government to take action, putting an end to Sikh separatism in Canada. Moreover, the United States should use its voice to condemn Canada for providing a safe haven to Sikh separatists and blaming Bharat without any evidence over terrorist Nijjar's killing.